Hello guys, welcome to the sixth session of using Microsoft Board Framework, Lewis and Cognitive Services tutorials for beginners. In this session, we will learn about dialogues and creating our new dialogue. Dialogues are used to create conversation and manage conversation flow in a C-sharp class that implements iDialog interface. A dialog can be composed with other dialogues to maximize reuse. A dialog has a context that contains a stack of dialogues active in a conversation and will maintain the state of the conversation. A dialog sends messages to a user and is suspended when it is waiting for a response from a user. The iDialog context interface that is passed into each dialog method provides access to the services that dialog requires to save state and communicate with the channel. Till now, we have used root dialog that comes by default when you are creating new boat application. Now I am going to create a new dialog in which when users say hello, our boat will send welcome to boat application and if it gets how are you, it will reply I am fine as always. For this, we need to create a new class under dialog folder named welcome dialog. First of all, we need to import namespaces for board framework that is using Microsoft board builder dialogs and Microsoft board connector. Each dialog must need to implement iDialog interface of type object and also create methods of this interface. Because of this dialog, it will be internally serialized and deserialized by board framework so we need to make it as a serializable. Now we need to create a method which will perform original operation of both that is returning to welcome or I am fine message. For this write private async task perform action async. Here this name is chosen by me you can also use different name. This method will take two parameters first is i dialog context and another will be i awaitable of type object result. This context object contains all message details. First of all, we need to retrieve text that is sent by user. For this, we need to write where activity equals to await result as activity. And now we will check if activity dot text equals to hello. Then we need to return welcome to boat application. For this, we need to use poster sync method of context. Copy this line and if text is how are you, then we need to return at I am fine as always. Otherwise, we need to send I am unable to understood you. And now we need to call this method from start async by using context.wait method and return to task.completed task. Our first dialog is created. Now we need to tell message controller that instead of root dialog, please use welcome dialog. And update it here. Save all files and run the project. Copy URL. Open boat emulator and paste URL. Let us send hello. Here we got welcome message and now I am going to send how are you. We got fine message too. Let us send any other text. Here we got I am unable to understood you. That is it. Let us see what we have learned in this session. First of all, we need to implement iDialog interface and mark class serializable. Then create a method from which we will perform original operation. We are obtaining message that typed by user and check its text. To send message, we need to use post async method of context. Then use context.wait method to call method that we create. And return complete task. 
If you have any doubt, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.